Okay, so this is a video on SK85 steel. Um, there's not a lot out there on SK85, and I bought this knife. I really, when I, as soon as it came out, I loved the design and I wanted to buy it like pretty much right away. But I was actually a little hesitant because I didn't know anything about SK85 steel, right? So I was like, oh, well, I don't, you know, I just don't know, right? But I eventually went ahead and did it and uh, really like the steel. So just gonna do a quick, uh, like my take on it. It's a Japanese made and designed steel. Um, Japan is kind of known, you know, samurai swords and all that. So they're kind of known like same as like Germany and the US for making decent steels. I, uh, most of the knife steels that I've really liked have been American made steels. But this is uh, this is a pretty awesome, awesome steel from Japan. And like I said, they make awesome steels for chef knives, and you know they're making samurai swords forever and all that. So that's that. It is similar to 1085, I, you know, SK85. Um, it's similar to 1085 for like a lot of the properties that are in it, like carbon and all that. But it's way better than 1085 in my opinion it's uh, i've heard uh, the only things i could find on the internet about it was saying it's like a souped up 1085 i can kind of see where they're coming from but it's 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 different than 1085 it's um i can't find a lot on the internet about like you know like if you go on a crucible you know like you want to know something about 3v or um cpm 154 like a crucible steel you can find it on the internet pretty easy and it'll say like you know what's in it like what you know properties stuff like that can't find too much about this other than it's you know pe it's like 1085 is basically all i get i don't know too much about what's in it so i can't say anything about that but performance wise i would say edge retention is similar to uh 1095 In my mind it's better than 1095 by a little bit it sharpens up probably like just as easy as 1085 would uh sl slightly better than 1095 right just right in that kind of category for how easy it sharpens straps really well really straps really really well takes an awesome edge you can get like this steel you can get it really sharp like uh I know like 1095 and some of those longer grain steels, you can get them sharp easy, they sharpen easy, but it's just hard to get like that super nice edge on it. This steel takes that edge awesome. Like it, it takes a really, really sharp edge. Um, this is a 3 16 inch stock knife. It's an eight inch blade. Um, and I filleted fish with it and it was actually like not that bad at it. So, you know, just that sharpness helps with stuff, right? And it is a tough steel. It's, uh, I would put it right up that right. I would say just about the same as 1095. I, I, uh, take that with a grain of salt because, you know, I've been rough with it, but, uh, I haven't like put it through torture tests and stuff like that. And I'm just never going to, and I'm not going to like grab this knife and a 1095 knife and like see which one, you know, like try and destroy them and see what, so like take that with a grain of salt, but I would say it's pretty similar to 1095 for toughness it uh or even 1085 maybe it's you know maybe it's a little more like uh 1085 i don't know but uh so there's that it uh rust resistance uh definitely will rust the same as 1095 you uh patinas uh i've been trying to get it to patina i haven't tried vinegar yeah, that's the only thing I haven't tried and uh, I've been just oiling it and cleaning it and let you know using it a lot and hoping that it would kind of naturally get patina which some a lot of my 1095 knives will do that. Um, I have a bit I like this is like just coating on it. It's not patina. That's just like dirt from using it and st stuff like that. Um, 
I ha it does have a bit of patina on it once I clean this off, but it's just not quite there. It's been probably four months that I've had it and um, maybe five months. And uh, I uh, I don't know, I might I might get into the trying to vinegar to patina it to just give that little extra rust resistance. But yeah, similar to 1095 for rust resistance, not uh, it will rust definitely. And uh, so then uh, another thing, I'm, I like the flint and steel stuff. I don't know, uh, not a lot of people are into that these days, but uh, I like that. 1095, uh, if you get a good hard rock, like flint or something like that, uh, it will uh, it will definitely, sorry, I'm just moving because of the smoke from the fire, trying to keep the bugs away. Uh, you know, 1095 and uh, 01 tool steel and all those uh, high carbon steels, they will, uh, They you can definitely use a hard rock. Like this rock here, this is a piece of, uh, sorry, this is a piece of quartz right here. Uh, this piece is too small to use to strike a spark to show you. But yeah, this, uh, you got a big piece of this. This will, uh, this will uh, cause a spark on 1095 or one tool steel or a high carbon steel. And then you can use that to light charred material like flint and steel and all that. So if you have an 01 tool steel knife or 1095 knife, you can kind of use the back of your knife for that if you don't have a, uh, a flint and steel striker. Uh, this steel, SK-5, will also do it. I have gotten sparks off it. Uh, it's not super hard, but is not up there with 01 tool steel or, uh, you know, and there's probably a little less carbon in it than there is with 1095. So it'll do it it's just not you know it, it's not don't compare it with an 01 tool steel knife so that's kind of basically my take on sk85 good tough steel uh sharpens easy pretty good edge retention uh you can get an awesome awesome edge on this stuff it's it's great and uh you can use it for flint and steel stuff really really like the steel i would, I would have to say haven't used it for a while now uh this is this is my favorite budget steel man like uh you know, a bushcraft knife. If I, I pro, I might pick a one over the steel for a bushcraft knife. But in a survival knife like this, I, I really like this SK85. It's it's awesome, and uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a bushcraft knife like this either. Like I'm splitting hairs, really. You know what I mean? This is this is an awesome, awesome, awesome steel. Really, really like it. If you've been hesitant about buying a uh, a knife from Work Tough Gear, another manufacturer that uses SK5, because you don't know anything about it. Um, I think it's pretty good.